Okay, so we're looking at pavement in my driveway. And you look, you see a pretty nice hole. And this is where I spilled gasoline from a lawnmower unknowingly. And it sat there a good few hours. And what I did is I removed the loose asphalt that was just sitting in there. And you can see it's like it's wet asphalt, but it basically dissolved by the gasoline. The gasoline being non-polar, okay, dissolved the asphalt that's a non-polar hydrocarbon. Both are hydrocarbons that undergo uh, London dispersion forces, and because they have similar attractive forces, uh, what you get is dissolving. So all I did was I removed, I removed the soft asphalt that was dissolved away, leaving the hard stuff. Now I have to go get a uh, someone to get me some more, more asphalt or get a patch to repair this. So, you know, good asphalt is what I had here in my driveway. And obviously, by hitting gasoline, all right, I created a pothole because it dissolved it. So all I did was remove the wet, dissolved asphalt that will not dry now, okay? It's just... Um, it's just a soft asphalt, so I have to get new stuff. So it's interesting that like dissolves like. If you've got the same type, same type, same type of attractive forces, the solvent and the solute, they will dissolve and interact with each other. It's not what you want. Now, of course, water does not dissolve asphalt because water is polar, and um, it's feeds to my youngest son. And asphalt is non-polar, but when you have polar and polar, you have these problems. So uh, leaks of oil and gasoline on asphalt are big, big problems in paving. Like dissolves like.